One thing that could come from this transparency, more spotlight on the Fed, more of another ring at the circus, I guess, is that it could give Republicans uh, another place to foist blame on President Obama because he, of course, kept Ben Bernanke in that office. He's, Bernanke's not popular with the Tea Party or with libertarians. Uh, of course, President Obama had to defend his own economic policies, not just the independent Fed. Right, but nobody's popular with the libertarians uh, when it comes to the <laughs> Fed. I mean, uh, Ron Paul continues to, I mean, he used to say the Fed should be eliminated it entirely. He certainly wasn't impressed by this. Oil and gas prices are higher. You know that. Bottom line, oil and gas prices are going to get more expensive. Virtually regardless of what we do in this country, we don't move gas prices in this country. Oil prices are up largely to rising demand from China and India. At some point, we've got to seriously develop alternatives and not focus on who is to blame and, and, and fact-finding missions into why gas prices are high. We know the answer to that. Uh, the, my answer to higher oil prices is higher oil prices. A few years ago, when prices were higher than they are today, you heard the famous oil man, T. Boone Pickens, promoting wind energy on this show and elsewhere. Auto shows began featuring smaller cars and selling fuel efficiency instead of Hummers. This time, instead of focusing on alternative energy, for some reason, we seem to have a thirst for easy answers that make us feel better. Roland Martin. Donald Trump has a lot of guts calling somebody 100% wrong uh, after what happened this week. Uh, w but the president did set up a commission, a fact-finding commission, to find out why gas prices are higher. I, I, I'm offended that somebody's going to be paid anything, that there's a limousine driver who's going to carry some commissioner to some meeting and who's going to stay at some hotel on my taxpayer dime to try and come up with an answer to high gas prices. Gas prices are high because oil prices are high. Well, look, here's the deal. If, if you want to deal with the whole issue of energy, you talk about solar and wind. Trust me, all the hot air from Donald Trump could satisfy all the wind we need in this country. <laughs> he, is an, he is an absolute idiot. I will not support anything that he does. I will not support any company that advertises on his show, Celebrity Apprentice. He is absolutely a liar and was proven this week. But understand this when it comes to the economy, and you hit it on the nail. We can talk about the government. We can talk about the president and Congress. We can talk about higher taxes. But at some point, Americans have to understand understand as long as we keep keep sitting here and getting mad when gas prices go up then all of a sudden we get green then all of a sudden we believe in public transportation then we believe in buses and hov lanes then when it goes back down we're yep. like okay cool pull the suv out the american people yes you folks at home you are the problem here so we can't keep sitting here begging some other country to lower gas prices when we don't want to take ownership of this problem this is our fault so deal with it this ought to be good for ratings alley the theme of the night is Americans, it's your fault. Everything That's is right. your fault. American well, but, but, but Will, at some point, no, we I agree with you. You don't it. have to defend it, Roland. Look, let me say this: A, Donald Trump doesn't speak for Republicans. B, Donald Trump isn't a Republican. And C, there is very little the Republic, the president can do about oil prices. The best he can do is what Bush did and hold hands with King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia and hope. There's not much <laughs> right. more you can do beyond that. Right, we're not actually solving. The best thing I can say is having gone to the auto show uh, recently. I mean, they're, 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 the car companies. I'm going to talk about Ford later in the show. Uh, they're actually doing something about it. Even the Fed, Lisa, got into it this week yeah. uh, with that that historic press conference. Uh, somebody asked uh, Ben Bernanke what he can do about gas prices, and he said, uh, "We can't produce more oil." Right. How about an honest answer from the Fed chief? He basically said, honestly, there's not much we can do at all. And the truth is, there's not much that Congress or the president can do short term about oil or gas prices. Uh, you could talk about the strategic reserve, but that, that's not really on the table right, right now. My answer for higher oil prices is higher oil prices. Yes. Only until uh, if these things stay here, that is what it's going to prompt us to actually find these solutions. I'll pay good money, by the way, Roland, to see you in a Nissan Leaf or something like that. Uh, good to well, see look, you. As right. long as they make it a good looking car, I saw that new Mercedes <laughs> SL. Laura with the wings. It uses uh, gas. Solid, uh, it uses solid, gas. It's a, a nice looking GQ. car, but pretty, it uses pretty gas. Good electric car. Good to see you all, <laughs> hey, Lisa. Thanks very much. How much energy goes into producing Roland Martin's ties? That's, That's right. <laughs> hey, Lisa Deschardins, the author of Zombie good, Economics. Though. Prices always go up for some other reason, never because the, the Federal Reserve creates new money. That's the part that sort of exasperates me, but he's reflecting a Keynesian version of fiat money and central economic planning that I just totally disagree with. He keeps wanting to say high prices go up because of high demand, you know, high demand for oil. That's the only reason the commodity prices are being pushed up. And, and as long as he accepts that, we're in big trouble because they will not come up with a solution and they are destined to destroy the value of the dollar.